Kente always happy to tell Imani's story. Ivan wants to hear it again? And you, Master of Arms, what of your plans for reinforcements to bolster our forces? I'm guessing the Orc tribes are not so keen to fight for a baby team. Hmm. Ivan guesses right. But there is one man who is friend of many Orc chieftains. If Andras comes to fight at Ivan's side, Orcs will follow. Andras? A mercenary from Hammerfall, also known as the Raven. The Raven? You mean he is my brother Sandor's descendant? Ah, Anya is sister of Sandor Raven, Sandor Konyakti. So Andrash is of our bloodline. Kente, will Andrash fight in the name of his family? Andrash has price, like all mercenaries. Andrash wants what Ivan won't need once Ivan is emperor. Andrash wants a birthright. Andrash wants the Griffin Duchy. That's a bold request. Best allies are more than friends. They are equals. If Council is telling stories today, Kente has good one to share. Story of Desert Orcs of Sahar. Let's hear it. It was the year of freedom when great liberator Kunyak took Orc people away from the wizard lands. I think we all know the story of Kunyak's exodus. This is not that story. If Duke will listen to End, Duke will hear. Forgive us, Kente. Our Duke feels the weight of history pressing against him. Please continue. Ivan knows of Orcs that sailed with Kunyak to the Pau Islands. And Ivan knows of orcs who fled to Ranar steps. But does Ivan know of orcs that stayed? There was a great orc warrior named Jengo, and Jengo wouldn't flee. Jengo called Kunyak a coward, said orcs should stay and destroy the wizards to the last. Many warriors followed Jengo, thirsty for wizard blood. Story Kente wants to tell is story of Imani, an orc warrior who followed Jengo. Imani would become one of orc's greatest heroes. What did Imani want to talk about? Amari should be training, preparing for battle to come. For 20 moons, Imani has fought the wizards for Jengo. But Jengo's new plan sticks like goblin's foot! In one moon, Jengo leads attack against Abitil, great city of the dead. One of the seven. Victory there will matter, will change everything. Amari saw wizard city. Dead things that do not need sleep or eat guard its tall walls. Orcs too few, too tired. Jengo is taking us to be slaughtered. Amari trusts Jengo. Jengo is great warrior, has led orcs to many victories. But Jengo lets blood rage do his thinking. Vengeance pours into Jengo like water into drowning man. Last time Imani followed Jengo blindly, Imani lost eye. If Imani believes Beastmen can be convinced to break chains and fight at Orc's side, Imani has one month to try. Jengo won't be happy. Orcs do what Orcs believe in. That is Orc way. And if Imani succeeds, Jengo will welcome reinforcements. Big Brother is wise. Imani wishes Jengo would listen to Imari more. Imani's scouts found beastmen camps in valleys south of Albatil. Nulls, centaurs, winged harpies, and another of Rakshasas. 
the proud lion men. If Imani could convince all four to rebel against their masters, orcs would stand chance against wizards. But Imani had only one month to succeed. this smell? Orcs! Many orcs! Too many to fight! Half man, half hyena. Imani heard about gnolls. Wizards tracker dogs. Ah, uh, gnolls are no dogs. Yet wizards keep gnolls in kennels, with collars and chains. The master's collars dirty and stinky? <laughs> Nasty and cowardly! <laughs> True, Kaftar does not like to bathe, <laughs> but Kaftar does not like to be beaten, either! Imani can cut the chains, open the kennels. Gnolls can join orcs, become part of tribe. Not their dogs anymore, but warriors! So you would have us bite the hand that feeds us, Clunchy! <laughs> I am hungry! Always hungry! Break the chains, Orc Imani! The Nulls will join your tribe! <laughs> Oh. 